March 11th, 2021 at about 9.30, Deputy Freeman and I were taking a vandalism report in the city of Aliso Viejo. Our area partners were uh, dispatched to a priority one, 14 year old not breathing. Um, I recognized that the uh, address was just a street over. So uh, I told Deputy Freeman that we needed to respond and that's what we did. That day was uh, a normal morning and we was getting ready to eat breakfast and Santiago just woke up and come downstairs and asked me if he had to walk the dogs. And I say, yes, you have to walk the dogs like every day. So he was getting ready uh, with the dogs, you know, putting the collars and the leash and he just, he just passed out. And my husband ran away to check what's going on with uh, Santiago. Um, he was completely uh, with no color, no color in his lips, just, you know, like completely weak. And I immediately, I feel like something is not good. So I get my phone I, and I call 911. I was so scared and I just start telling the person on the phone my address. She tried to ask me questions, but I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't listen. I was completely uh, in shock. And I feel like it was a long, long time to the paramedics to arrive, and but the sheriffs arrived first. Upon arrival, we uh, were greeted in the par uh, parking lot by the subject's brother, who seemed frantic and was telling us that we needed to run to the residence. We ran behind him and located his brother inside the condo um, at the bottom of the stairs, unconscious, but he appeared to have a uh, labor breathing. We placed him on his left side in the recovery position and uh, monitored his vitals. Uh, after uh, several minutes, uh, we noticed his breathing had stopped. We checked his vitals again, and he didn't have a heartbeat. And uh, Deputy Freeman started uh, chest compressions, and I began rescue breaths. The fire department arrived. While at the scene, they used their defibrillator several times, eventually transported him to uh, Mission Hospital. When I first met the, the officers who who were there, I was like really grateful and I, I didn't, I regretted not saying that much because they saved my life and I have to thank them for that. Thanks God he don't have any brain damage, any of the, uh, his organs have any damage and the doctor says pretty much he's, he's, a, he's a miracle. I'm so grateful for the sheriffs who saved his life. Typically uh, in these situations, we kind of don't know what happens after the fact. So it was nice to actually speak with the parents and the boy to see that in this situation they did and he's alive today because of it, it's rewarding.